Alright, so something that I've been getting asked quite a lot is how to fit vocals to your track tempo and that this can be really difficult. Um, some vocals are much easier than others and for this lesson I've decided to pick one of the vocals that's a bit harder. Um, if the vocal starts exactly on the beat like the first word matches the first beat then it's going to be a hell of a lot easier but if they've got the vocal indented like it happens a few beats before the first beat if that makes sense or if it happens a little bit after the first beat then it's going to be a bit trickier best thing to do is to get familiar with the original track and make note in your head of where the beats hit the words so like listen to where the kickoff is like the first beat and which word lands on that beat and then the first beat of every four beat section if you know what i mean see which word is landing there and that's going to help you when you're lining it up so anyway enough going on about it i'm just going to show you how we can do it and i'm going to show you a few different different ways as well so this is the vocal that we're going to be using it today i want to show you good and bad times you got to know that my love is true so we've got a verse and then a bit later on there's a chorus no pain and here we are and here we are oh baby satisfaction guarantee Okay, so the first technique that I'm going to show you is going to be a lot easier if you're used to like DJing and you're familiar with uh, like the beats, counting the beats and stuff like that. It's going to be much easier if you're a DJ. So this might not work for you if you're not, um, but it, it also might if you get yourself familiar with the original and you get used to where the beats are hitting, like I said earlier, then it'll, it might work. So I'll show you this because it's quick and easy and there's only like one step to it really. So... All you've got to do is go up to your tempo up here, right click and do tap. And then what we're going to do is listen to the vocal and imagine where the kick is in your head. If you've listened to the original quite a few times, you should be able to kind of hear the imaginary kick in your head exactly where it would be. Um, so I'm going to have a listen and where I think the kick is, I'm going to tap for every single kick just on my mouse. Tap, tap, tap every time the kick would be there. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, here we go. So I'm going to press play and then I'm just going to tap on this. I want to show you good and bad times. You got to know that my love is true. I want to show you good and bad times. There is no sacrifice, there is no pain. And here we are. Okay, so I've tapped for to know, maybe 20 seconds or whatever it was. And I'm roughly getting 137. And what that's done is actually changed our project tempo up here to 137. What we're going to do is change the project tempo to 137 instead of changing the speed of the vocal. And then once we're happy with that, we can lock the vocal to that speed and then we can change our tempo and the vocal won't stretch. It'll stay lined up, if that makes sense. So what we need to do, and I've already got my kick and bass set up here, I'm just going to turn on the kick and I'm going to try and work out where the vocal sits. I wanna show her. So I think um I wanna show her. Show her. I think that bit there is gonna line up with the first beat. So I'm gonna hold Alt on the keyboard and just drag it along. So Alt just disables the snap and then you can move it freely. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on my kick and bass and have a listen to that. I wanna show her. Good and bad times. You got to know that my love is true. So it's sounding about right, but if you thought it was a little bit off, what you could do is just move the tempo up or down slightly. So if I set my snap to a quarter and we zoom in a bit, we might see that if we move this along a little bit, these words are going to line up with the lines. See here, and moving along, they landing on the lines. So let's have a listen again. I want to show here. So, zooming in, but it's looking like the vocal's getting a bit too fast. So, if we drag the tempo up to 138, um, I'm going to go back a bit to that bit. So, because we've changed the speed, we might need to shift it along a bit again. Um, and then I'm going to look further along and check that it's still in line. So, 
Yep, this is hitting on the lines. Go a bit further along. That looks bang on the line. There, there. So fingers crossed, should be okay now. I can go a little bit further along, a little bit further along. That again looks bang on the line. So I think I might have got it now. So let's have a listen. I wanna show you. Okay, so now that we're happy with the speed, we need to go to the little drop down here, fit to tempo, and just choose project. And it shouldn't change um, like the speed at all, it should still sound the same. I wanna show here. But the difference is now, if we put the tempo up, it's not going to move the vocal. So we can go up to a much higher tempo now, and the vocal should still fit. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, something that you can do, because sometimes the vocals sound like they're a bit squished when you've speeded them up so much, if it was like a slow track originally, and then you've speeded it right up. Sometimes it sounds a bit better if you um, pitch it up by like a note or two. So if we put the pitch up to like 100 cents, and then we'll put the bass up, just a single note. I want to show here. All right, so now I'm going to show you the next method, and um, this one is, might be a bit easier. Um, I don't know, I suppose all of these methods are just going to depend on the person and how you like to do it. So what we're going to do this time is have a look for repetitive bits. So like the chorus in this, for example, is really repetitive. And here we are. So I know from listening to the original that um, when it goes here we are, I know R is the bit that's on the beat, so it should be this bit. About there, I think. So what I'm going to do is put my pointer there, and then I'm just going to press M on the keyboard, and then Enter, and that'll put a marker there. And then I'm going to find the next one, which is straight after it, I think. And here we are. And then M, Enter. So I'll do that, and then I'll go along to the next time it does it. Round D, and here we are. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, that'll probably do. So what I think is going on here is this this one, and then I think there should be four beats, and then that one. Um, but if we count from here, there's 16 beats between these two. So what we need to do is just drag this onto here. I might have done that a bit quick there. If I go back on Edison, I'm just using this here, so drag it onto here. You'll have to make sure first that you're not selected anything, because if you're selected on this, and then you drag it on, it's only going to put that bit on. So double click to deselect everything, and then drag it on. Right, so make sure we haven't got stretch turned on here, and I'm just going to drag the sides in. Um, so I've got a smaller uh, sample to work with, basically. So that first mark there, was to go on the first beat. Here we are, and here we are. So zooming in a bit. Um, it doesn't have to be exact because I might not have got that exact. So looking over here, that one needs to be there, so it's a little bit slow. And then going right over, so that one should be there. So that's yeah, a bit slower. So I think what I'll do actually first is put my tempo to what I want it to be, which is, well, we'll just say 160 this time. So that one's going to go there. What I'm going to do is chop straight down here. So I've got that there, and we've got rid of the spare bit. So that needs to be there, and that needs to be there. So to make this easier, I'll just chop it off after that marker as well, just so we've got a nice small area to work with. 
make sure that the mode is on resample, otherwise it's going to try and re-pitch it every time you stretch it and you're going to be waiting while it's um, like loading it. So yeah, turn it on resample and then it won't bother doing the pitching thing. So put um, stretch on here, hold alt on the keyboard, drag this in until that hits where you want it to hit. Go back and check that mark. So yeah, we've got these two on there and that one there. So let's have a listen to that. Yeah, cool. So now I just need to unravel it like this. And um, you can probably hear it's got higher in pitch and that's because we put it on resample. So what we need to do is just right click the pitch and reset. We can see that that's um, messed it up, and I don't know if this is just something that this version of Fruit is doing, because I've never had this before. But um, the way to fix it is just to disable load regions there, and then it should put it back to how it was. So let's have a listen. And here we are, and here we are, oh baby, satisfaction guarantee. And here we are, and here we are. So let's have a listen with the bass. I'm just gonna cut a bit of this off just in case I need to shift it left or right. And here we are, and here we are, oh baby. So again, we'll zoom in, have a look at these. So it's a bit late, so this just needs to be like that, so that they're lining up with the lines a bit better. And here we are, and here we are, oh baby, satisfaction garage. Ah, another reason why it sounds dodgy is because I've got the chorus over the verse space. So I'm just gonna set my snap to a bar. And I'm just going to drag this to here, and then I can unravel it. I want to show here, do the bad dance. You got to know that my love is true. I want to show here, do the bad dance. There is no sacrifice, there is no pain. And here we are, and here we are, oh baby, satisfaction guarantee. And here we are, and here we are, there is no sacrifice, there is no pain. Okay, so there we go. For me personally, when I'm doing the fitting the vocals to the tempo, I don't use these methods because I can just do it by ear. And if you're a DJ, you might be able to do that. So in that case, um, if, you, if you are quite good with the beats like that, all I usually do is find where the first beat is in the vocal, which would be here. And I'll, I'll purposely just mess it up just so that I can redo it again. So if I turn stretch on and I make it slow like that so you can see that it was uh, taking a little while to load because i've got resamp uh, because i've got auto on there right so let's play this with the beat so all i would do is put stretch on i'd get the alt and i'd drag it in a bit and i'd listen again just like you would beat match on decks what I would do is speed it up a bit, listen and see if it's got better or worse. If it's got worse, then slow it down, try it like the opposite way. So I can hear that that's still slow, so I'm going to speed it up even more. Still slow. Nearly. And then I would unravel it a bit, listen a bit further along, but just like when you're mixing on the decks, if you've got the pitch not quite right, it's going to drift. So I'll go quite a bit further, paint the kick down a bit more. If it's still in over here, then I think we've got it about right. So it's a bit slow, I think. Zoom in, we'll set the snap back to a quarter. So yeah, I think a bit more like that. 
that bit of the vocal is quite useful because it's on every half beat. So if I set this snap to half a beat, we can see pretty much, well, yeah, every word here basically lines up with the lines. So if you just look at like the peak of the words, so here, 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 all the way along. So that bit's easy to line up. See if it was like over here, we would see. We just need to shift it along a little bit. So that bit is like on a three quarter of a note. So that's it doesn't really help you when you line it up so much. Um, but if we look along, we should see that there's quite a lot of bits of the vocal that line up. So there, again, that bit that's on the three quarters, all of these lining up with the lines. And there, yeah, so you can kind of see that it fits to the lines all the way along there. And there's another bit where it's every half a beat has a word. So yeah, that's the three different ways that you could do it. Um, and I'm sure there's more. You can also try the fit to tempo thing, which doesn't always work. We'll um, tell you what, we'll just give it a bash and see what happens. Um, it doesn't work with all vocals. If the vocal's quite consistent, like if it's mainly on the beat or the half a beat or whatever, it works quite well, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so I've turned the time all the way down, put it back to normal. Fit to tempo, and we'll do 100 to 200. And I think it's done a terrible job. Well, let's see. It has. It has done a terrible job. So as I say, that, <laughs> that doesn't always work. So yeah, use the other methods. Um, but it's worth giving that a try because sometimes it does. So you could try that first and then if not, use one of the other methods. And if you've got any other ways of doing it, uh, let me know in the comments so that other people can try them as well. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think.